and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Cube Seed. You keep thinking of new ways to, to react to it, which you I'm know, honestly genuinely impressed about. I think it, it comes to me literally in the moment. I, it's like, I think I, I, so hard about like, what am I gonna say? And then like the moment comes and I'm like, here we go. The bit lives. Words. The bit lives. Really Box intro. breakers. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mod of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now, as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Oh, yeah, so you just went to the spin yourself. Oh, it's fine. All right. Oh, cool. What's it going to land? Oh, oh, fireball Energy! Yeah, Fireball Energy. Yeah, Fireball, fireball Energy. All right. Okay. Better than last week's uh, Metal Energy. Yeah, but not as good as the proposed uh, Salad Energy oh my gosh. and or Salad eyeball. and or Eyeball in this set is wild. There are so many of those cards floating around, uh, including one of today's randomly chosen common chase cards, Espathra, which is also joined by Clauncher and Lechonk. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, we just have to be on the lookout with Lechonk because there are multiple chonks in the set. Good to know. Good to know. Also, I, I feel like we, we mentioned, like, yeah, like last week, we had like the metal energy, although it did not slow that box down at all. It did it not. It was like one of the most action packed boxes that we have had in a long time here on Box Breakers. You so, have a lot to live up to, Box. I know. I know. It's like not to, not to put like too much undue pressure on you, but like. Live up to expectations, yeah, we're, okay? we're really hoping you deliver for us, okay? Yeah, All yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Last box was indeed exciting. This is the final round, so everyone's opening their third pack of the season to get their final score. Last week we saw M-Bug take the lead from Margo with their own alt art Miriam poll for a total of 86 points. Meaning, I don't know if Margo's in today's uh, round of contestants, but if she is, well, well, that's gonna be exciting to see. Uh, the race for last place is also really close. Um, lots of people have got, uh, no, no one has had three packs, three points yet. So three packs, three points is great. It can really only be beaten by two packs, two points. Really? Yeah, exactly. Yep. So uh, we're kind of looking for somebody. I know like Bri Liv last week, like was in a like fantastic position for a last place award and then just completely blew it out of the water. Totally with a, blew it with a 40 with point a, pack. So yeah. Yeah. Or, anyway. Or, or were they the nest ball? They may have maybe they were the, the nest, nest ball. ball. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. All right. Next up. Uh, well, our first contestant anyway of the day is Ben C, not I'm gonna, you. I'm going to open first, though, because me and Ben C, we go way back, we, right. given that we have the same name. Yeah, Ben C has 23 points on the season, and I want to say that uh, eighth place right now is 33 points, so they want an 11-point pack to try and pass Matthias for eighth place. Look at that, I got the metal wow. energy. Wow, if great only last it week, was last yeah. week. There's the, the Smoliv, the Primeape, the Palmy, the Tarantula, the Jacques, the Florigato, the Zangoose, the Dundozo will score, the Sandile will not, and the oh. Reverend. Well, it would have uh, been a great will. one last week. It would have been a great one last week, but just two points for Ben C overall, which puts them at uh, 25. 25 on the season, a very impressive showing. Going to be around that like tied for 13 spot with Josh G and Dalton Green, but either which way, Ben C, cart's headed your way. Man, there you go. You got to love the Ben C because uh, he goes to take his son to Pokemon events with him on the weekends. So that's that. the dream, you know? I feel like you're headed that way. Real fast. I, dude, I can, I can only hope so. I can only hope that me and Luke's are out there just taking first and second place on the weekends, you know, Excuse rocking it, crushing it. It's in the finals. It's like, oh man, it's Luke versus Jay. And I'll be like, I'm going to let you win, probably. <laughs> probably. probably. That's a situation where I could probably see that happening. All right. Um, next up is Ellie, who's born on St. Patrick's Day. So, not really happy birthday. You're pretty far away. Yeah, but like, you know what? I feel like when we started writing Ellie's card, it was like, hey, that's coming up soon. And wow. now, like, maybe. Yeah, maybe now we've gone past it, but uh, I'm which way? Oh, fireball! It's your lucky day. <laughs> I, I, I hope it. that Ethan just added like a crazy fireball effect on the screen, just right. Like, <laughs> 
Let's see if we can take advantage of that double fire balliness there. The Mabastiv, the Oinka alone. So if oh, the Karidon will, will score, score. the Mascarada scores, score. and the oh, if only it was next month, we'd have had a critical hit. I know with a, with a rare, which is like, I mean, what That's is that? Crazy. Ever happen? Yeah. yeah. So for uh, in case you've forgotten, in the n next season we will introduce the critical hit, where if something like this happens, it will be worth double, uh, which actually means this would have been a four times multiplier in this which, particular which, pack, which would have only brought you to 12 points. So uh, there's all that to consider. But as it were, it's a six point pack this month. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Yeah. All three of those uh, potential rares being rare. I mean, I don't I don't feel like we see that very often at all. So the three scoring cards works well with the fireball energy. There you go. That brings um, Ellie to nine points on the season. So just shy of the big Steve award, which I think you're looking for 13 points, right? Or 12. 12, 12 you want would really 12. be the sweet spot because EK Sko is the only person who currently has 12. And uh, assuming they have one more pack left, you know, there'll be one more to open. So. All right. Well, next up we have Moss Twig and their first couple packs that scored four on both. So if they can get uh, five on this one, they're looking great. All right, let's see here. No, if they get another four, that would give them 12. Oh, you're right, I'm sorry. Yes. Just, you just explained it, and I was <laughs> like, right, 13. 13. <laughs> no, it's all right, all right, so let's see if we can, if we can get a three-peat on that four action there with the Dedene, the Pineco, the Flittle, well, the, the Fui Coco. Coco. Scores. Oh, because it's fire. Oh my yeah. gosh, you're absolutely correct. I was not paying attention. Good call. Toxicity, the mouse hole. Oh, the, the crocolore. Can we get a full line? The energy retrieval does not score. The youngster does not. Oh, oh the, the Magnazone. The Magnazone looks like it could be a two point card, if you're asking me. If, I know. And we'll that's exactly what Mosswig wants. 76 oh, cents. No, it's off by one point. A no. narrow miss. A narrow oh. miss. My gosh, that is sadly going to bring you to 11 points on the season. Tied with Big Steve rather than beating him. Beating him. So unfortunately, going to miss out by just that much. But you do get the Magnazone EX, which is a perfectly playable card. And it is now officially sleeved. There so you've you go. got that. A fancy little, yeah, there we go. There's Karidon, Karidon. looking back at you. Man, so close, Mostwig. So close. All right, next up, we've got Johnny. Johnny. Got, Johnny's now looking at Big Steve because he's already got 14 points on the season. So they're looking ahead of their next spot. Of, they want 34 points, I think. 34 so. would get you into the, yeah, that quality eighth place. And then, of course, Mbug hold on tight with that first place with 86 points overall. So, so. I suppose Johnny could pull just the Miriam here and just cause more chaos. Could There's be. a rock is pummeling here. There's the Satoddle, the Varum, the Magic the Card, the Clauncher scores. scores. Yep. Drift both the Nest, Nest Ball scores. scores. Here we go. The Houndor scores. The Energy Search. And a, oh a my dwarf, gosh! A back to back Magnazone. I've never seen that ever. That's wild. So we know that's a one point card, right? Yep, that's so a one. So one, two, three, four, five points for Johnny. Man, in what are this odds of uh, this pack? That is, is, this box has been weird it so far. It has been weird. We it, have the double Coridon and now back to back Magnazones. It does remind me of when we were kids opening base set cards. Our younger brother Tyler opened two Alakazams in the same night. Man, I don't know if you remember that? I do not, now that yeah. you bring it up. Yeah, it was like it was like what a strange thing to pull two of. Fun story about that Alakazam though from base set. I don't know if it's been since then, but there was a Kadabra in that set. They have not printed a new Kadabra Pokemon card in like 20 years. But later this year, they will print the first Kadabra card in like over a decade, which is maybe over two decades. I, I wonder if they do anything yeah. fun with it, like to like make it special. Oh, Oh, I so hope so. I hope yeah. Alakazam EX is like awesome and yes. the Kadabra is like really cool. That would be so cool. Or, or maybe they'll just be like, yep, here it's back. Okay, fine. We printed one. We printed one. Jeez, get over it. Okay, so Goddess Princess is up next. They they actually were, they're, they're in a pretty good position for last place. They've got two points. They came in mid-season, so they're only going to have two packs on the season. But in their first pack, they got the two points, meaning they could still end with three which is still pretty much what you're looking for. Yes, okay, so, so we'll, let's we'll see. see. Yep, Can right, we get a single ball. point pack? Toad School, Rotom, Rare Candy, Spiritomb. So far so good. All the these Spafra, Spafra scores, yeah. mm, that hurts. Yeah, Rocky is. Helmet, the small, oh, oh the, the slow road. Road. Yes, So it's gonna be a two point pack for you, bringing you to four on the season. So far, that still might do it, but I'm confident someone's gonna get the three pointer. I know, it, feel, it feels like it's gotta come. Uh, I I, I, yeah, we gotta, we gotta keep a close watch on that. That we do. Next up we have Lauren, who's coming in with six points on the season. 
Oh, they have a Name the Wind themed work from home office? That is awesome! You know, my my workspace here at SCB HQ is also Name That's the true, Wind That's true, it is. Yeah, I Man. love it, yep. So we got the You've dark... got like almost one of everything you could buy at World Builders. It's true, yeah. I, I have like, it, it's, it's so funny because out of all the fandoms that we cover, they're all so like popular and heavily commercialized that like, you couldn't own all of the merch. Yeah. But Name of the Wind is still kind of like a pocket, you know, like yeah. on the internet. And so I've pretty much been able to collect just about everything available. So um, I love that for me. Anyway, Riolu, uh, the Magneton, which we keep seeing today. The Clawitzer will not score. That. We're looking for the Clauncher, I'm sorry. The Grievar, the Stone Journer, the Penny, the Medicham, the Katie will not score. The Satitan will not score, and the oh, Cyclozar gets one point there, so that's going to be seven on the season for Lauren. Uh, not going to quite knock you up to the big Steve spot, so unfortunate there, but you got Cyclozar coming your way. Better luck next season, Lauren. All right, next up we have got Offion, who has got seven points thus far on the season. So they're looking for a five-point pack. Yep, to get you in that big Steve contention. There we are, there we are. Or something huge, you know, just go straight for first. You know what? We'd love to see it. We would love to see We'd it. love to see it. What I really want to see is somebody pull the rarest card in the set while also having the type advantage. Right, I know. That has yet to happen yet. Man, they're another medal. If only it was yeah, last week. Uh, the Dollop, the Quaxley, the Pawnar, the Crushing Hammer, the Picnic Basket. Let's see. Toad School doesn't score. Toad, Toad Scroll doesn't, doesn't score. score. And the Houndstone. What a single point. Oh, you hate to see that too. That's gonna be eight points on the season for Offion. We're building we're building some rare card potential energy I right know, now. Right? Though, we've had, so. All we've had is these two Magna Zones. Oh boy, there is the potential energy is indeed building. Yeah, their their loss is your opportunity, next pack. Alright, next up we got Bubsy, a crowd favorite, if ever there was one. This has got four points on the season so far. Can they land themselves an eight-point pack? here. Alright, let's see, let's see. The tricky thing about Big Steve is that it's not going for big numbers, it's specific numbers. It is, yes, yes. You're yeah. trying to hit like a very specific spot there. Uh, and it's, it is amazing to me because like one of the things that's been most fascinating about Big Steve is that he always seems to ride the middle of that bell curve. Right. Like he's, he's like, it's not like he's done really poorly or really well, like to where he's like a top contender or like a back contender. He's like middle of the pack. Yeah. Uh, which I love also because as far as like the mechanic is concerned, it helps yeah. award somebody in the middle there. So the Drowsy, the Nemo, oh, the LeChonk scores. The LeChonk will score, the Flabebe, the Florges, the Muck, the Vivalon, the Metatite will not score, the Mousehold will not score, but the Arcanine, oh, the Arcanine. There you go. There's going to be some points. There we go. So 32 on the set. Uh -huh. $1.49. So it's a two point there. Three, three point pack overall. Going to be seven on the season for Bubsy. We'll we sleeve go. that we'll Arcanine sleeve that. for you. It is the, uh, on, my, on my price list here, it is the most valuable card on the front page. Oh, well, so, so there's, you know, yeah, there's that. So out of the first, awesome. the first 35 cards in the pack, it's, it's the most valuable, so. All right, well, uh, next up we have Jess. Jess. Jess is a former season champion, if I'm not mistaken. Um, right, they had the 231 back in season three. Was that was this the one though where? where oh they no, came you're in? right. You're right. Jess was a season runner up. Yes. Because they played, they almost played spoiler as a rookie with their All Star Lugia V, but could not uh, take down Brooke. Absolutely incredible. <coughs> Absolutely incredible. So the question really is whether or not Margot can reclaim the lead from M Bug. We are all. Uh, patiently waiting for her turn to open the pack. Let's see, we have the Fido, the Dedenne, uh, Pineco, Flittle, so much eyeball energy. Cacturn, Mesagoza, Floor just doesn't score quack. Oh my gosh, look at this, double it's quack wobble. Wobble. This is like the 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 critical hit box, it as is. it were. I know. That's just gonna be a two point pack there for Jess. Gonna bring her season total to eight. Getting a lot of people in those like um, near 11, 12 ranges, but no one's landed on the 12 yet. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna, gonna happen. happen. All right, next up is another Lauren. Another which is, that's how the Lauren. name is written. I'm not just saying another Lauren. Right, yes, yes. Yeah. It's another, it's another Lauren. Okay, so another Lauren has seven points, loves dark types. Um, and let's see, so they're looking for five. Ooh, There's and they've got the oh, multiplier, yeah, yeah, so they actually go. can't hit five now. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. <laughs> that's a, but there is a chance that if EK Sko ends up getting any more points, it will make a tie for 13. So lots of interesting things can happen there. So the Pontiard, uh, the Wiglet, the Toad School, the Quaxwell, the EXP Share, the Toad Scroll, the Crocolore will score. Yep. Oh! oh! Oh, on two weeks in a row! Oh my gosh, what? okay, and we're gonna have the double! 
Big points. Big. Oh, man. This could, could be, be a first place could contender. Could this be a first place contender out of nowhere? Out of nowhere. I did well, not And there see could be another coming. card. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, and so there's at least one more. There is another scoring card, but it's not like big numbers. Let's let's okay. double check the Karai Don. I know. Yeah, so number 247 <clears throat> on the set. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty big hit. No, no one saw this coming from another Lauren. No, we did not. Okay, so that's 3842 for the Karai Don. So this would be 39, 40. 41 times 2 is 82. 82. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 80, is this, is 82 that, plus 7 is 89 for the lead! No way! Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Another Lorne with the multiplier on the Coridon. Who saw it coming? Oh That's it. You love to see it. Yes. That's amazing. What a Cinderella story. Wow, if you've ever is. seen one. Oh For my gosh. Another Lorne moves it up to 89, making Margot's job that much more difficult. She now wow. needs an 11 point or higher pack to take back the lead. Who would have thought that Margot could have fallen to third place? I didn't think there was any no shot at all. I thought the only way that the first place prize was going to change, which also means that Shadow Loop is now in eighth place with wow. 37 oh, points. Oh, so the mark for eighth place is now 37. Wow. What the heck? This, this box is getting wild, you guys. Okay, next up is Kernak with nine points. So I'd like to say they're just aiming for, you know, a nice solid 12 points here, win a big Steve, but who knows at this point? We never know. We never, never know. Point. I saw that and we were like, wow, this is a bummer. They can't hit the 12 point mark. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They went for the best pack all season. Wow. That's unbelievable. You, oh, there's the dark type. Okay. So we have Starly, Flittle, Shroomish, Mankey, Beach Court, Sandaconda, Katie, Tox. Oh my gosh. What is this? No way. <laughs> What is going on? This is the same two big cards from the last box. There was a Miriam and an Alt Art Karai.exe EX in the last box. Okay, so what is the Miriam worth? Oh my God, number uh, 251. It, this is wild. $75.41 rounds up to 76 so, plus 77, including the claw. Okay, so 77 plus the nine points that Karnak already has. That's 87. 80, 86. 86. 86. 86. Oh my gosh, so they're actually now tied with M Bug for second place. I don't believe it. Margo's down to fourth. What is going on? That's our third. Third our Miriam. Third Miriam. Um, that's the rarest card in the set. That's crazy. Or at least the most valuable. Least the most maybe valuable. it's not yeah, the maybe rarest. Said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, My man. Gosh. What a box we are having all of a sudden. We told you the potential energy was building. Jeez, Jeez, Kernak barely missing out on first place there by three points after the type advantage Coridon takes it down. Which now means that Robbie Cruz is in eighth place with four. 40 Ooh, points. You're right. So the, now the eight, that that's really what changes now is that Robbie Cruz sits in eighth. And if anyone wants to get to eighth, actually, now if anyone gets to eighth, they could get to 41 and tie with Braun for eighth place then, right? Whoa. Whoa. Because if you get, yeah, so if you get to 41, you tie with Braun for eighth place, in which place we have a rare card problem. If you get to 42, you tie with Shalini, but just knock Braun into eighth place. So Braun's hoping for a 42 or higher pack. Oh man, this is getting crazy. This and is Robbie Cruz is sitting there like nobody else opened anything big. Everything just changed. Every just oh my gosh. Jeez. I, I can't imagine what this pack's like. This can't, can't possibly be one of the next three best cards. All right, there's the eyeball, the Fumicoco scores, the Drowsy, Nimona, LeChonk the scores, scores. Heracross, Defiance Ben, Flittle, the Scovillain, look at that, that's so pretty. That's a beautiful and card. And the Mirai All right, All right what's yeah. the Scovillain? Yeah, let's see, number 202 on the set, see Jeez. if that does anything interesting for us. Oh my gosh, I am just an absolute I can't believe what's happening. The, the 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 fight for first, I didn't think that's what we were looking for No, today. I mean, that's why I feel like we talk about all the other awards so much. Know. Because it's like, you know, first it's like, well, you know, like, sometimes someone's going to pull a rare card and who's going to contend with that? Yeah. Um, okay, so $2.61 for the Scovelin, so that's three, three four, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six. Six yeah. is the, oh, which actually, wait, eight, so they're going to be at 
14 points on the season. Austin Johnson, Austin Johnson just barely missing out on the Big Steve Award themselves. Oh my gosh. Jeez. There we go. I throw some of those over there. Thank Give you. me some of these over here. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay. Things are heating up. Things are heating up. There's a lot of packs left in this box, I too. know, geez. There's gotta be something else interesting in these, otherwise we're gonna have a boring rest of the episode. I know. Well, here comes Dockery up to the plate. They've got 13 points, so they're already missing out on Big Steve, unfortunately. And so just, just gotta shoot for that quality eighth place or first place at this point, which, which, which seem equally unattainable. But, but I, you know, you would have thought that, but all we gotta do, apparently, Apparently, this is this is the box to do it. You got to get up into the 40s though, if you want to. Um, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we. It's possible. We have the type advantage, and then immediately we have a char cadet on the field as well. Capsicid, potion, star raptor, electric generator, wug trio, the grimer, and the meowscarada. Okay, okay, so, so not so. quite the type advantage of last time. Going to yeah. be uh, one, two, four point pack for you there. Oh my gosh, I'm like, you're gonna come down. I know, I know. I'm like, I, got, I got like the sweats going on right now. I'll try to keep it off y'all's cards, you know. Ooh. But like, goodness gracious. I know, yeah, when do we start wearing white gloves to the show, soon. you know? Soon, apparently soon. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, there. Alright, next up we have uh, Blue Suede, rival of Dalton Green. Yeah. I right now. I get blue and green, I get it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that. Yeah, six. We're in, okay, so Dalton Green currently has 25 points on the season. Well, Blue Suede here has six points on the season, so they're hoping for uh, just another cool six points here. There we go. Okay. Growl the right. scores. Growl. Oh, you're right. Yep, yep. absolutely. Yep. So that's one right out of the gate right there. Uh, the Ralts, the Tandem Mouse, the Doxpun, the Tatsugiri, the Scovelin, the LeChomp the chomp scores. Oh, nope, wrong chonk. You're right, wrong chonk. I'm sorry. Uh, the Squovit. And then. Oh! Oh my god, we've gotten the same three from last week! What is going on? This is a 25 pointer, right? Hang on, yeah, I believe so. So number two Did Blue Suede just give Dalton Green the smackdown? I think they did. Number 225 on the set is gonna be worth $24.27. Is this 26 point pack? Did it did that mean that they took down Dalton Green? Yeah, that means they're up to 32. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the rivalries! Blue Suede was sitting pretty, and like, now... Vir virtually untouchable. Virtually untouchable. This might be the best this episode is, of Box oh, Breakers we've ever had. I can't believe it. This Which is insane, because I was like, after last week, I was like, <laughs> well... Although we pulled three, the same three rare the cards. The same like, three! This is like a weird booster box yeah. sorting situation. I don't know what's like. going on. Was there anything else rare that we should be now anticipating in the rest of this month? We had the, the full art Coridon EX. Which we already pulled. Well, we pulled that last week. No, we pulled it this week, too. We had the alt art. Oh, the alt art. We had alt the art. full art one okay. uh, last week, and then we also had the, the Gyarados, the Miriam, and the alt art Coridon. Wow. So, who knows, man? This is getting weird. This is getting uh, weird. Well, sorry uh, to Dalton Green, but Blue Suede wins this round, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, that was a very unexpected <clears throat> turn of events. Man. All right, well, Ethereal <sighs> Squirrel is up next, and they, well, they've got... They, they came in mid-season, they've yeah. got one point. One point. So they are in the rare position to score just two points on the season and really cement last place. Um, and given the way this box is going, I wouldn't put it past them. Whose turn is it even to open? Did you open? Okay, Ben's I'll, going. I'm gonna go. Here it is. <clears throat> I'm gonna go. Ethereal Squirrel. It feels like a, someone who's gonna pull a Squavit. It does. Maybe, you yeah, know? It does, it feels that way. Big Squirrel energy. Let's, right, see. let's see how so they're gonna the, do. So, so far they're good there. So far we're good, we've got the sand. The oh, oh, but the how noob scores. Yep, that's gonna so do there it. You so go. There you go. The Fido, the Scatterbug, the Vitality <coughs> Band, the Cyclozar, the Toxtricity, the Tandem Mouse does not score, the Go Goat does not score, and the oh, Skeletor just I was, I was thinking they were gonna be okay because even at three points, they would have done good, but the Skeletor is gonna be worth two. So this is three, so that brings you to four oh. on the season. So you, man, they did almost everything they could. But still didn't quite get there, and finishing with four points for Ethereal Squirrel. The three-point finish is still eludes us. I know. It's even that has kind of like been like a really fun magic this season. Yeah. It's like who would have thought? All right. Next up is Dragon, who's coming in with three points as well. Okay. And at this point, you got to look out for just a four-point last placer. You got to see. Um, yeah. Because it has, there's no three-pointers yet. But I, I believe it will happen. Or is we'll this see. Dragon? Is it Dragon? Because it works for a space agency, and I'm pretty sure I thought that. Oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, Rock is pummeling for Dragon. Flabebe, the Growlithe scores. The Ross, the Nest, Nest Ball scores. Yeah, that's that's good. Right the Picnic Basket does not. Did you, 
Oh, no, go ahead. You're good, you're good. Annihilate does. Grievar does not. Cyclozar does. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five points for Dragon. Man, very impressive. Yeah, that nest ball is worth two as a reminder. But yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, I wrote down your score wrong. You have eight, not seven on the season. That's why I don't. Work Pretty for strong a space finish agency. though. I mean, working working some version of like uh, reverse <clears throat> negative splits there. So like when you're running like long distance, the goal is to always have each mile be faster than the one before it. That's called negative splits. So they have improved from one point to two points to five points. That's exactly. There so you we go. expect big things from you in the future. That's right. All right. Next up, we have Alyssa. They love to cosplay, draw, and write stories. You know what's funny is that we were putting a lot of generational pressure on this year box at the beginning <laughs> of the episode. We were really giving it a hard time to live up to its brother's expectations. You are not wrong about that. And it was just like. Fine, this, this, fine. This is like, what is this, a middle child box or something? <laughs> That's me. That's me. Oh, man. Middle, middle children for the win. There's our metal energy. We got the Poka gear, the Fluit, the Palmy, the Smolive, the Torkoal score, the Breloom, the Kilowatt Troll, the Magneton will not score, the Tarantula will not score, and the Annihilate will score. So just a two, two point, point pack. There. So that's seven, eight, nine on the season for Alyssa. Against, we're still waiting for someone to break the break the seal on the twelve. I know, I know, it's got it's got to be coming though. It does have to be coming. All right, next up we have Vicky, who the, cannot be the person who will be coming from though. Is currently has already 13 has points. thirteen points. So Vicky's looking for a pretty big pack here to get up into uh, either the forties or the nineties at this point. I know. I mean, you, I mean, anything's possible. Anything is possible. possible. All right. Well, it's now, no, the nineties are out yeah, of it now yeah. since we don't have. We need a multiplier to get there. All right, this is chonk. wrong chonk. Yep, yep. Wrong chonk. Poke, Judge, Floatzel, wrong Miriam, Flaffy, Arvin, and the Palmot. So a rare single point pack today. It is indeed. For Vicky, clearly maybe was going for the big C, but they're still just going to land at 14 points, making it impossible, I'm afraid. Nonetheless, Palmot coming your way. Oh, Ben, here we go. It's Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee, who has uh, three points on the season. So it uh, maybe is, I don't know, well, I, I, who knows? They could go Big Steve. They could go for a four point lasty. There we go. All right, so we got the. The Eyeball Energy, the Drifloon, the Sprigadito, the Flittle, the Saviper, the Mousehold, the Croc will score. Yep, the Florages, the Wiglet will not score, the Crocodile will not score, and, and the, the Clefki. Clefki. There you go. So scores just, with some J points there. Some J points as well. So just just two <coughs> points there for for Kimberly, Kimberly Lee, Lee ending off with out. five on the season. Five on the season. That's all right. Better luck next time to Kimberly Lee. Clefki coming your way. Next up is Vincent. Vincent. Vincent, who has six points on the season and is looking for six more points on the season, uh, at the very least. Let's see. If not, you know, a massive pull here or something to bring them up into the 40s. I, um, yeah, at this point in time, it's like, I mean, we can't even, we can't even speculate. I know, like, I feel like just, we... We've been proven so, so ridiculously wrong. We keep trying to, but... The Palmy, the Hypno, the Bombardier, the Beach Court, the Miriam, Spiritomb does not score. Oh, oh. a Toxicroak, although okay. it looks like Bulky X, we'll find out. It does, let's take a look here, number 131 on the set, the Toxicroak is 76 cents, so mm. yeah, just a single point for that guy there, but Real we'll still bummer. Seven drop points it there. for you either which way. <clears throat> Make sure it's protected on our way to you. Da, 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 da. All right, so Vincent finishes the season with seven points. The the twelve pointer eludes us. Someone's gonna get there though. All right, here we go. Let's give it up for Cal. Cal. Who has got? Oh, okay. So Cal is in a really good position. They have got two points on two packs. Two points, two packs. They've got sixteen cents worth of cards this season. They're crushing it for last place. Truly awful. We want we want just a real bad pack here for Cal. Okay. All, All right. right. So we got the dark tier. We got that's a great start. The Wiglet. The Grievar, mm -hmm. the Mastiff, yes. the Spupa, right. the Greedent, the Crocodile, yes. the Flamigo. Mm -hmm. the oh, the Research, research. Scores. Oh, no. oh, and The Wrong Lechonk, <clears throat> so that chunks, one will so score. And the Arbeliva. Arbeliva. That's two points, I'm afraid. Wow, wow it just another, keeps happening. It's another four-pointer. Wow. Man, so close. You know, Cal was on the edge of their seat there, thinking, could this be, could it be, could I secure last place? I'm afraid not. Not secure yet. Not impossible, but not... 
Not there. Oh, is this a rookie on the day? How about it? I think it is. It's skill. 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 Uh, a Slytherin keeper. Okay, this very is impressive. Going to be their rookie Maybe. debut, so I guess we're gonna have a rookie of the day contender here. Does that I mean if they're a rookie and a Slytherin keeper, does that mean they're a first tier on the, on the Slytherin Quidditch team? I guess so. That Man. makes sense to me. Must be the first time in. How many years? Twenty three plus eight. Thirty one years. 31 years. 31 years. According to McGonagall. <laughs> that makes sense, Harry, in case anybody didn't get that reference. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so like how appropriate. They got the, the Harry Potter scar energy. There we go, yep. yep there we yep. go. Got the Zangoose, the Krogonk, the Dedenne, the Curlia, Luke, Rock chest plate, so Titan does not score, Blissey, Oink alone, and the Research. Boom. So just a single point, which would be great. Um, except that with just one pack, you are unable to qualify for last place. So, Unfortunately. finishing the season on one point. Just the there single point go. there. But at least you have a highly playable <laughs> professor's research. There so, you go. You know. And I suppose you are the current rookie of the day. There is so that. There yes. is that. All right. Next up, we have Gil Druin, who is uh, coming in at five points on the day, looking for a nice seven point pack here. Um, oh, and uh, so we have an update on their fun pack here. For the past few uh, weeks, we've been reporting that Gil Druin is training for a 50K ultra marathon. They finished it. Congratulations. Well done. That is not easy. I just ran my first marathon earlier this year, and I cannot imagine going a step further than what I did. So oh, I am incredibly impressed. Uh, the Houndor will score. The Citadel, Magikarp, Magnemite, Muck, Vivalon, Doxbun, the Torkoal, Torkoal will score. Yep. Fire there, the Pachirisu will not. Oh, and the Toxicroak. Another Toxicroak. I think, did we have two of these last box as well? I don't know, we had two Magnezones at the start of this box and now we've pulled two Toxicroak. Weird stuff be the first. Man, all right, so that's gonna be, it looks like a three point pack. It is a three point pack, so, yeah. We'll, we'll drop the uh, Toxicroak. Eight croak. points on the season. This box has got some some weird mojo. It does have some weird mojo. That be for darn sure. Goodness, the, the Miriam again. <sighs> The first place switch on the type advantage. That's exactly what we've been hoping for though, was some sort of crazy uh, type advantage mixed pull there. I know, that's what we've wanted for so long. And, and now it's happened. We got it, we got it. All right, next up we have, oh boy, okay, so here we go. EK Sko, the only person thus far with 12 points. So yeah. they are about to blow their 12 point big, uh, big Steve uh, position. The question is by how much though, because yeah, we've been talking about EK Sko for a while, because they're the sole person in with with 12 points overall. So the only person, but also we knew that they still had one more pack left, so. Right, so there's the Growlithe and the Skeledurge are their scoring cards, so it's a three point pack uh, overall, meaning they go up to 15 points on the season. Feels unlikely then that they get, yeah, they definitely can't get the uh, Big Steve Award at this point. Yeah, then. I think we, we sort of <clears throat> knew that unfortunately, despite sitting in that prime position that is a, a, ever elusive for a lots of people. For no, yeah, so many packs, no one's landed at 12 yet. Although here we go, Ben, Jupiter Fox has nine points on the season. Okay. So can some, can't, three points seem super achievable. It does, it seems, it's crazy <clears throat> attainable. But right there, EK Sko finally like left their foot off the pedal. Maybe one person will be able to sit. Wouldn't on it that be Hilarious! It's just the very first pack after EK Sko. Yes, someone the, lands the next back person, at twelve. It would be incredible. So the Metatype, <clears throat> the Energy Shirts, the Grimer, the Bruxious, the Fortress, nope. the Rocky Helmet, the Mabostiff, the Wug Trio will not score. Oh, the, the Pajarisu! Look at that! And, and an Armor Rouge. Rouge. So will be worth at least two. <clears throat> That'll so. be worth two, and this will be worth um, well. Probably at least two as well, so they're gonna miss out, I think. They are, the so yeah. The Pachirisu comes in at $2.89, the Armor Rouge will be worth two. Four, five, so it's a five point pack, so man. Blows right past it. They were close, so they what did they add here? Nine plus five is 14 points. Man, so close. I am or certain, Jupiter Fox. Certain that we did not have a Pachirisu last week, so at the very least, we're not getting a complete and utter reboot of last week's box. Yeah, you're a right. A little bit of diversity there. There we go. All right, all right. Man, all right, someone's gotta land at 12. It's gotta happen. Next up we have Ryan, who's sitting at five points on the season. We're getting low on this box here, getting towards the I end know, of it. I know. Here we go. Can they get the elusive seven like I'm getting point? Like a little bit of like a, yeah. All right, there's the eyeball energy, the Fuacoco scores, yep. the Tropius, the Pokeball. Team Scar, Youngster, Slowbro does score. Yep. Beach Court does not, and oh, oh! Arcady! Well, I gotta tell you what, this, that, this, they're looking for seven points, so if KD is worth like five? So like $4.15? Oh my gosh! Five. What's that, five, six, seven? 
Yeah! Oh my gosh! It here we go. Let's oh. go! Let's go! Okay, so we officially, officially. Now it doesn't mean somebody else can't also be a contender. It doesn't. But Ryan now officially sits as the only person qualified for Big Steve. Wow. So uh, we'll have to go back, and if anyone else lands there, total their rare card value, which the Katie feels like it's going to hurt them because this is a weird one where you want to be the person directly in front of Big Steve. So we'd actually be looking for. The, um, it ends up being your, like, yeah, so what we talk about when we say total rare card value is all the other game components get taken out completely and all rounding gets taken out completely. So right. we're literally just totaling the actual value of your rare cards. Of your cards. rare cards. So Katie itself would be worth like, like $4. $4. Yeah, so that, uh, but what you want is to live, finish right in front of Big Steve. So if uh, several people have 12 points, it's whoever has the lowest rare card total value. Right. Because want... they would be the one directly in front of Steven. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. that's sort of a weird one. Um, Requires yeah. usually a little bit of going back and doing some math on our part, so we'll be um, we'll be sure to keep a look on at On the it. opposite end of things, if you have a tie for eighth place, you want the highest one. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's funny how it can change, but... Um, so very impressive though, and it's hilarious to me that Ike Sko stepped off the plate and then like two, two packs Two later. packs later, there you go. Ryan steps in to claim Big Steve Award. Oh my gosh, next up we have Ken's, who has 16 points on the season. They run a D&D campaign every other Wednesday. Very impressive. That sounds like very a lot impressive. of fun. But, oh, Ooh. and they pulled a fireball energy, okay. so let's get ready for some fireworks. All right, let's see it. Stupa, Meditite, the Grimer, the Electric Jenner. So far, nothing. The cycles are wrong. Cycles are Charcadet will, will score, score. And, and the Annihilate. Oh, man, so just one, two times two is four, four. points. Going to bring them up to 20, uh, the 20, 20 even. Yes. 20 even on the season. So, really even. not a bad finish tied for 19th with uh, Karen, Wesley, Wesley, and Aiden at the moment. There you go. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. All right. Next up is Chris. Chris. Uh, they've got eight points on the season. So, this is someone, you know, four points feels pretty achievable. They could land very comfortably at. Uh, Big Steve with four points. Yep, that would do it. That would do it. Give Let's Ryan if, a run for their money. I know. Yeah, it's usually how it's usually exactly how things heat up around here. So yeah. we've got the energy switch, the Varum, the, the Clauncher. Oh, wow, we haven't seen one of those. those. Yeah. Uh, the Skiddo, the Tatsugiri, the Scovelin, the Torkoal will score. The so what, what do we need? We needed four <clears> points. <throat> yep. All right. So that won't score. The Spigadito won't score, and the Halucha. Uh, so three, three points. Wow. wow. So close. Going to bring you. Uh, up to 11 on the season. Uh, Chris, it says training for their first marathon. Maybe they finish too. We'll hey. get an update. I know. We'll have to hear. We'll have to hear. By cool. the way, if you are uh, at all interested, we've been doing a step competition. It seems like we've got some runners in today's batch. It's called yeah. Miles Manage. We're basically uh, like traveling up the United Kingdom. There's a link to join down below. It's free and a lot of fun. So be sure to check it out. All right, next up we have Jeremy. They have 28 points, so okay, uh, they're actually okay. in a good position to Possibly. play spoiler for eighth place, but they would need like at least, what, 12 points? Yes. <laughs> to mess yes. with it? Yeah, I think yeah. at least that 12. That would tie like... them with Robbie Cruz. Right, yep, absolutely. All right, so let's so. see. Can Jeremy get a 12-point pack here or higher to mess with the eighth place run? The Pal Pad, the Flabebe. Toxel, Flaffy, Blissey, Tatsugiri, Fortress does not score, Skiddo, and Arbolivo. So oh, just a single just point a back. Single. No spoiler playing today. That's going to bring them to 29 on the season. A wonderful performance. Very impressive, yes. Not enough to play spoiler. There we go. So 10th tenth place overall at the moment. <clears throat> yes. Although, well, again, maybe not accounting for uh, some of today's activity. Maybe 11th place overall at the moment. All right, next up we have Megan. Megan. Different Megan. We had Different. another Megan last week. Just yeah. two people named Megan who played the game. Uh, let's see, they've been collecting Pokemon cards since they were five, and now they're 23! Has yet to open a single Charizard, and today won't be that day either. That's okay, though. <coughs> that's okay, that's okay. Let's see here. There could still be something fun that can oh, happen. Oh, like there's a, still some fire, though! A little bit, a little bit of fire. There's some Zard for you. Yeah, the Cacnea, the Sandile, the Mareep, the Silicobra, the Oinkalone, the Spirit Tomb, oh, the Spock, scores. Right? Yep, that'll yep. do it. The Ultra Ball will not score, the Riolu will not score, and the Professor's Research it's will. will. Oh, man, so it's just, just a four-point four pack. Pack there on top of their five. That gives them nine on the season. I do appreciate <coughs> summoning that Charizard energy there. Yeah, I know, to, right? You know, kind of to bring the bring yeah. the flame. A little bit of extra juice there. Right. All right. Here we have Robbie Cruz. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is so, interesting. <laughs> so Robbie's currently in eighth place, and this will. Oh no, this will knock him. It will knock him out of eighth place. 
But if they get one point, <clears throat> they will. You're right. If they get one with point, Braun. they'll tie with Braun for eighth place. Which oh then it would my. come down to math, dollars and cents. Mm, so how tricky for Robbie. So they're either looking for like a real big pack to just jump all the way to first because they're currently sitting at 40 points, or they want one point to maintain their eighth place spot and tie with Braun. Oh boy. Some, some the drama. I know, you got the the drama. So that's good for the one that's point. Good for one point. The cacmia, the sand dial. They want just that one point at all, or something really big. Uh oh. Oh, the growl. That's Lucario. gonna be at least two. That's gonna be at least two points. Oh. Oh, the cartridge gamer and the armor. So three points. Three points. Oh, oh my gosh. So forty. Three, right? Yep, 43 overall. I think that'll put him in fourth place. <clears throat> that puts him in fourth place. That puts Braun into eighth place, which now means the eighth place number is 41. Goodness. Jeez, what what madness at the top of the leaderboard is happening today. What a shake up. No, yeah, never, never have we had this much top of the leaderboard change this up is this wild. late. And we have season. two more boxes to go. All right, is Blue Malin mute? Mute, mute. Uh, they've got eight points on the season, so they're looking pretty good. They can get, they've got, they've done four twice. Okay. So okay. they can get four a third time in a row. They will also be in contention with Ryan for the quality eighth place. All right, we've got the metal energy. Okay. Got, that's not Here bad. Here we go. The squabbit, the oh, the chalk that helps. That's wrong chonk. Boy, the other one, one is the elusive one. I know, the Kilowattro, the Greedent, the Shroomish will not score, the Drifloon will not score, and the Dondozo will get you. Does just the two, two points. points. Man, so close. Ten on the season. Blue Malamute. Sorry, you're out of it, man. You're out. Next up, Kevin. Kevin! Kevin has five on the day. They have a fifth, well, that doesn't really matter. They're a game developer, so hopefully they're watching this and they're like, wow, the way you guys have developed this point system and the fact that someone made a comeback with a fireball energy right there, that's good game design. That's good game design. That's, that's, what, what, you're, like that's, what, you're, that's what you're hoping <coughs> for. Right? All right, kabam! Rock is pummeling energy for Kevin. They've got oh, the Rolls. They've score. got the Growlis. Growlis putting up numbers today, I know, it's man. been a good one for us. Florigato, the EXP share, the Clawitzer, no, we want the Clauncher. The Weasel. Weasel and the Rever Room. So just two points there for Kevin. Going to bring their total to seven on the season. And we've certainly cooled off here on the back end of the of the box. However, that doesn't mean that something interesting can't still happen. That's right. right for next, Xander. For Xander, our next contestant who has six points right now. They want six more points. Let's see how they do. All right. Got the eyeball energy. We got the Bi Sharp, the Riolu, the Go Goat, the Scatterbug, the Ultra Ball, the Arvin, the Cacturn. I mean, this would have been a good one for I know, last week. Last I think, week. The Riolu, I think the it would have had all three again. Yeah, no, might what have. are the odds? How about that? All right, so we got the Medicham, which will not score, the Drazzy, which will not score. <coughs> oh, Ben, that's the same one. That's the Coridon again. What, <laughs> what is, is happening with this like, box? A double box? What's going on? <laughs> Oh my god! All right, well, what is it? What's it worth? Okay, let's see. So the, this is gonna do some interesting stuff, I, I think. I could not um, believe it. Two hundred and thirty-one. Jeez. Let's see. Oh wait, is this is this not the one that says rare? Okay, so I think we pulled it last week. Yeah, we did this pull this one last okay, week. Okay, so this one worth four dollars nine cents, or round up to five. Five. Oh my goodness, that's. Five, and they wanted six points. That lands them oh, at eleven. And nothing oh, else. Nothing else it. scored, right? No, I don't think so. Oh, oh yeah. so close. Mm. So close. bummer, bummer, bummer. One point off for Xander. My goodness, this is, this box has been so similar to last week's. I cannot been, believe like it. Something. Someone at the Pokemon Company needs to let us know, or else we need to start ordering our boxes from like a multitude of different places. Because uh, that was just. This, but this has never happened before. No, this has never happened before. It's an anomaly. We've cases before. Yep. Yep. It's true. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, here we go, Bourbonator. Uh, you've got five points on the season. Let's see. Whew, can they get seven points? Let's see, Bourbonator collected X-Men Marvel cards in the mid-90s and started collecting Pokemon cards with their kids. Let's see how they do today. The Crocker Rock, so much rock is pummeling. No kidding. In this Flamigo, one, the Flamigo, the Fortress, the Toddle, the Dene, and, and, and the Ndidi. So a sad single point there to finish us out for six points on the season. There we go. The cards headed your way either which way, and we're on our last pack. Last pack. This is going to be for uh, Mistevios, who, Mistevios. okay, so interestingly, Mistevios here uh, came in middle of the season and got a two-point pack, 
meaning that if they get a single point, they could they could still be our three point last place person. Okay, you're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. Okay. Right. Yep. There we go. So we're looking from one point. So we have the shop it. The spirit. Oh, there we go. The so that's going to be at least two. Be the Drifler, the Mezagoza, the Heracross, the Defiance Band, the Smolov will not score. The Magnemite will not score, and the King Gambit. Yeah, well, so there so you go. So close. The type two advantage. For four points. So last place. Still no three point last placer. No clear. Yeah. No clear position on like where that's going to ultimately end up being. But goodness gracious. I, I mean, mean, after last week's box, like we recorded this episode the same day as last week's episode. So yeah. During today, we have opened. Two Miriams. Yeah. We have opened two. Two Alt Art Karaidon EXs. Two of the Gyarados. Two of the Gyarados. Two full Art Karaidon EXs. Just absolutely. I don't know what is going on. I know. It has been. I was like almost worried coming in today. So I was like, man, last week's going to cast such a shadow on this week's. Like, well, then but, and we also had two Toxicroak EXs and two Magnazone EXs. And the Magnazones came in back to back packs. Yeah. Like, really wild. The... Really wild. I mean, Weird. just like something I feel like you never <clears throat> see unless you're just like watching this many packs be opened. In a row, like just to see the unusual things that can go I'm down. Baffled. So, I mean, we've opened a lot of Pokemon cards, and we've never had back-to-back -back boxes like that ever. No, nope, so not once. That was wild. <laughs> that was super wild, but so, so, so much fun, guys. I hope you've been enjoying being along for the ride. We've definitely been enjoying there's, opening. There's packs. a very small. There's a, there's a nice audience that's watching this that is like cannot believe the drama that no one else on the internet is like getting to enjoy right now. I know, I know. It's like, like you're part of like a really cool know, like, right? like this is spectacle this in is, terms you, of. We're part of it right now. Something's happening. Okay. Right? Right. There's some magic in the air. Right. Right. There's some magic. But anyway, guys, if you are at all interested in being a future box bake breakers, box, <laughs> box baker, <laughs> yeah. welcome to the uh, new show. New where show. We only make box cake. Yes, it's amazing. <clears throat> um, if you would like to become a future box breakers patron, uh, we are currently sold out. However, we do have a wait list, which is listed in the description down below. Uh, I recommend if you just want to hop on there, just so that you're the first to get it. There's no obligation. If something does open up, we'll just let you know in, in case you would be interested in doing so. Um, um, but otherwise, guys, as ever, thank you so much for your patronage and for your viewership. Until next time. Bye. bye.